Well. I know that's supposed to be a scar on my chest, but it really just looks like I have the most wacky chest hair ever. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, begin your journey. Grab a weapon. I'm going to be a fighter. Yes. Oh, man, I look... I look pretty boss, actually. Cool. So now we've got a weapon. We can equip ourselves. Primary weapons, secondary weapons. Got it. Jump around. Biff some children. Ah, we got a blank scroll. Anything else in here worth looting? The answer looks to be... No. Well, that's fine. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope, nothing. Hey, there we go. With the date. You say it left a glowing scar? Yes. The wound has closed, and it seems the worst has passed, but his heart, a nice diamond. If you would face me. You are sure of this? Yes. Ill magic, the work of some curse. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. I must go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if aught changes here. All right. <laughs> I am super creep. All right. Oh, I can speak with her. You should be abed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I am worried for you, cuz. Oh, I'm supposed to be her cousin? Jesus Christ, this is a weird family. All right, uh, let's see what we got in here. More plants! Anything else? Doesn't look like too much. More plants! Yeah. And nothing else. All right, let's get out of here. I am massive. Casardis. The one thing I don't like about this game, obviously, is it's a it's a PS3 port, of all things. Uh, so, as much as I like like old generation games, like there's some really good ones, I do feel like uh, a lot of the uh, generation really didn't understand how color worked in gameplay. And I mean, it's hard to do, and with all the like lighting and the shading and whatnot, you get a lot of you get a lot of, like, brown and gray anyway, but, like, ah, oh, it, it just hurts so much to look at. It's, I want, I want to like, uh, you know, old-style games, but they just, they just look so bad. I get a bucket. I get a broom? Didn't realize I could loot these things. Hey, empty flask. Uh, bottled haste. I'm just gonna mess everything up. We might as well loot everything we can. Alright, uh, any... Anything in here? The answer is no. Yeah. Because who knows when this stuff's going to be useful. Carrots! Yes! Okay. Anything here? Nope. Oh. I now have a pot. Wait, nope. Huzzah! <laughs> Somebody comes back to their house. No! What stuff? No! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Oh, I gotta sheath my sword to talk to her. Dressings for the wounded had I the makings. If only I'd known. Cuz I need a favor. Can you fetch the flowers I need from outside the village? I need more of the one you see there. And one other sort besides. The more you can find, the better. Alright, so we gotta go find flowers for healing, I guess. People with red icons have quest information. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? 
Small gold pouch. Yeah. Extra cash. Always welcome. Let's put that away. And let's go back to robbing people blind. Because apparently nobody cares. So we might as well use and abuse this to the fullest extent. Oh, take oil. Apparently oil is pretty dang valuable. So getting a lot of it is good. Because uh, that's how you refill your lantern. Okay, had you an empty flask? You can refill it here. Who are you? Oh, Pablo's in. Okay, this is just flowers. He's, he's telling me where where to get those. Alright, you can raise affinity by giving people stuff. Cool. There's also notice boards. We can pick up random quests. So, reclaim the roads. Ten bandits. Ten goblins. Seven mice. And five rabbits. I'll have to figure out where to kill the mice at some point. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, you can purchase equipment from shops. for Restoring health from an inn. Okay. Doesn't look like it can bust this up for the time being. Well, that's fine. What do we got in here? Looks like it's another shop. And place to loot things. Yeah. Nobody around, though. Weird. Oh, wait. There it is. Got uh, more money. I am robbing whoever lives here. And I have zero qualms about doing so. I'm kind of an asshole. That's okay, too. What do we get from this? More gold. I'd like to be able to buy some better equipment before I leave. Not like it really matters, but, you know, having good stuff always helps. Okay, empty flask. Take some more oil. So everybody's calling me cuz, so I guess I'm, like, somebody's cousin? Or just everybody calls each other cousin in this town. Cuz? Cousin? Yeah, whatever. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything left around here for me to loot. This is one rusty-ass sword. Alright. Uh, let's see. Anything th through this alleyway? In the fisherman's house? Smothered cap? Oh, can't do anything with that one. Kind of wish the breakable stuff was a little bit more obvious. Alright, well, I'm not going to be attacking or murdering this person inside their own home. I don't even know if that actually works. So let's not try it. What we got here? Hello. In is his house. Okay, we've got a foreign knife. Wonder what that's for. Apple! Oh, actually, that lootable apple is a lot more obvious than, um, than otherwise. They're actually colorful, so they stand out from the kind of depressing gray that consumes this entire <laughs> entire game. That's okay, though. I mean, so far the gameplay is pretty solid, uh, which I really appreciate. I, I don't know. I, I like action RPGs, and I feel like there aren't enough of them. <laughs> well, that was kind of goofy looking. Do we have anything else around here other than this chest? Nope. Looks like it's chest and chest only. Mage's Parept. Alright, maybe I can sell that. Though I might want to save that for my uh, companion, because eventually you get a companion that uh, can follow you around and stuff, which would actually be kind of useful uh, to, to equip him with more magey type gear. I don't know. Alright, so we got like a well. Can't do much with it, it looks like. Right, nope, can. Small coin pouch! More money! Yeah! I will be wealthy before I leave this town. Just you wait. Okay, nothing useful from there. Alternatively, I just remembered. There's actually something over here. I hope I can get to it. Or I, I hope I can grab it before I'm told. Hey, there we go. Got the scriptures. Okay, is there anything else on these roofs? While well, we're here. Well, there's these boxes. We might, like, we might, we might as well loot everything as we go by. It's a shame the music is, oh, never mind. Doesn't look like I can parkour that much. This is not Assassin's Dogma. <laughs> okay, uh, so we got the scriptures, that's for a quest up here. And apart from that, I think there's one other, oh, hi. Might be able to get to that. I might have to jump for it, but there's a treasure chest. Door is locked. Okay, that's some random lady. Don't care. She has more advice on where to find the flowers, but I already know where to get them. There we go. Right, a poison flask. That's cool. And a rock. Eh? Uh. Okay, to the chapel. Oh, interesting. There's usually an NPC here. Well, I, I guess I'll have to find him later. But so this guy... This guy's lost his scriptures, which we just found on the, uh, just found on the roof. 
There we go. Now, normally I would like listen to these people, but for the most part, these are just like basic side quests that really don't mean anything from like a gameplay or plot plot perspective. Hey, here we go. This guy. Stay a moment. I will not ask this of anyone but you, cousin. I have news for Nerim. Dark news. I fear I cannot bring myself to face him. Will you go in my stead? His brother is dead. It happened on the shore ways. We were fleeing the worm, and he... Cortez leapt before the beast talons to shield us. I saw it. Saw him hurtling through the air. Saw him fall back to the ground. I did nothing. Just watched the poor man die. I cannot face Merin for the shame of it. He deserves to know what happened, but I... Please, please go and tell him. Alright, so we have to go deliver me, uh, news to Marin. Let's go figure out where Marin is. I actually wanted to listen to that one because I didn't earlier. Um, I don't know. It might be a little bit inconsistent, but I'm definitely going to listen to like actual plot stuff and the more interesting quests that aren't just basic side, side questy business. But if you want me to listen to everything, uh, let me know. And if you want me to just kind of skip past some of the stuff, I, I'll both are totally... Totally fine by me. Looks like we got another treasure chest. I'm trying to see if there's anything else worth looking into before I drop down. I doubt that's going to have anything. Okay! Yeah, let's drop down and see what's in here. Because there's actually like a fair amount of loot in this town that you can grab before you leave. Loot, healing herbs, the like. And by grabbing them all, we're going to probably have an easier start. Not like it matters much, they throw money at you pretty quick. Ah, uh, but still, let's go this way. It looks like there's a ledge I can drop down onto. Doubt it's gonna have anything. But it's always worth investigating. Okay, and the answer it looks like a distinctive no. I turn around and there's a treasure chest. No, oh, oh, oh. That's okay. Anything for me to either of these? Yes, coin pouches. Wow, we're actually making... Seriously, large amounts of money just by, like, rolling around committing grievous deeds of vandalism and whatnot. Hey, there's a tre treasure chest here. This is... Kind of great, actually. Pickled mushrooms. Glorious. I do need to get a better weapon for this. It'll probably go faster. I do have anything at the edge over here. Fish! Actually fish. Alright. Well. I guess I should have seen it coming that there would be a fish there. Okay, anything else? Maybe if I go out, like, swimming and stuff. We saw one other treasure chest on a roof. And then apart from that, I don't know. Oh, interesting. As long as I'm in town, I have infinite stamina. That's cool. Okay. I see this little, like, inlet -y place. I just... This is... First episode of this series. Waterbot does kleptomania, pretty much. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> eh, things already happened. Plot stuff. Fish stuff. Mostly fish stuff. Uh... So don't feel too guilty by being, like, ultra kleptomaniac. Plus, I don't know. It's kind of nice exploring the town and actually knowing what I was doing. The last time I went, went through this, I was super clueless. And, I mean, it didn't really detract from the experience too much, but still. Oh, is this Marin? Are you Marin? Gathering ingredients, hey? you are just oh, it's just flower information. It means nothing to me. Okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if I can get back on those roofs. I want to get to that treasure chest. Just see what's up. I do feel like having all of these... I, I don't know if I've been... Spoiled by Dark Souls. But, uh... The... Oh, shoot, where is it? It's up there. Can I, like, climb this? No. So what I have to do is effectively get on top of the edge of the wall. Again. Nope. Shit. That was actually easier than I thought it would be. Alright. Yeah, all you have to do is actually just sprint from the baseline. 
there's no reason to run like. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a ladder. Oh, that's great. I could have I could have just ignored this completely. All right, let's see if I can climb up this. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's any reason to be up there anyway. What do we got around here? Ooh. Ooh, it's a drop-down point into a, another house. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. It's just another shortcut onto the onto the roofs. Okay, is there, like, anything else up here that I should probably keep in mind? I don't see anything. So it's probably not worth sticking around for. I do so love climbing and adventuring. Because you find shit around here, like treasure chests that have just been, like, left up in miscellaneous place. Uh, talismanic beads. Hmm. I don't see any more, though. That's okay. Tally-ho! Break my ankles. F -f -f Ow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe that was not a survivable fall like I originally thought. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so let's go talk to Marin. What? Cortez is found? I... I see. Elvar has suffered in this as well. Cortez made his choice. He faced his end with valor and died a man. Elvar bears no fault in that. He has no cause to blame himself. My thanks, good Fisher. I am sorry this burden fell upon you. I shall go and put Elvar at ease. All right, report back to Elvar. Great. My grandfather was named Elvar. Not Elvar, but yeah, close enough, right? So now we've seen uh, falling damage in action. Good. Now I know what to expect. Oh hey, let's mess up some more of these things. Take water. Nope. Don't don't say the need to. All right, fisherman's house. Another one. Doesn't look like there's much in here. I like it how the doors close after me. It's kind of weird and creepy. It's like... I don't know. It's like there's a ghost that's following me around just for the sake of courtesy. Just closing doors. And it's like, you know, you, you meant to do this, right? Yeah. You know, you go into a house, you go into a house to rob it, and you, you close the door. It's only the polite thing to do. I just realized I can use my, like, special attacks to break things faster. Duh. Alright. Well, we probably robbed most people blind by now. I'm sure there are more things I can grab, but I've made a lot of money, and I've actually completed a fair amount of quests while we're here, too. We still have to go get those flowers, but those are outside. I thank you, cousin. Pray forgive the trouble my cowardice has placed upon you. Cortes did not trade his life for mine, so I could wallow in idle self-pity. I live the best I am able, for his sake. Alright, we get more experience, and... Oh, we got some RC. Interesting. Uh, we got some more experience, more gold, and things are looking good. So we're gonna have to stay at the inn, otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. Maybe not... I just realized there's somebody that lets me rest soon, so that could work. Um, rest for, like, free. Oh, either way, let's let's figure out which person here. There's somebody around here that lets me buy items. We want to buy a sword. Estella's? Uh, no, she sells... Oh, she does. Okay. So, I've got 5,000 gold. We can buy the iron sword or the trusty sword. Ooh, wow. Yeah, trusty sword it is. All right, weapons. Trusty sword. Better than the rusty piece of garbage that I'm rolling around with. Okay, tools, weapons, here we go. So we can have a leather cap. <laughs> or a traveler's hood. Mm. Buy one of those. Or so. Okay, so we've got... Traveler's shirt. Hemp shirt. It's a difference. Not much. Linen shirt. Or a tunic. Faded vest. It's more scale and stuff. Might not be a bad idea. Skull belts. 
That looks pretty great. Oh, jeez. Skull belts. Why is skull belt so much better? What's the difference? Oh, it's because it's only useful for certain classes. Leather jacket. Chest guard. I don't have the money for it. Or a traveler's vest. Nope, never mind. Okay, so chances are leather jacket, skull belts. Magic defenses or... I kind of like the skull belts, just cuz. Now, let's go with the... Hmm. Let's go with the skull belts. How much more money do I have? Still a fair amount. Okay. So we've got... We have actually own talismanic beads. But they're not very good. Scholar's bangle. Novice's bracers. Uh, Scholar's bangle is definitely the best defense, probably. Let's just go with wooden bands. Pants. What do we got? Traveler's tights. Short pants. Leather shoes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Budget budget greaves. Do these all take... They all take the same slot. That's great. Well, budget greaves is... It, it is. Okay, and lastly, we can't afford any of the other stuff. Awesome. Confirm. Well, let's put all this nonsense on and look goofy. I am going to be the specialist. Oh, fight fighter. Oh, it's like my bleed stuff. I got it. Wait. There's something called clothing and armor. Wonder what that means. I guess you can have like a I guess you can have, like, a, a clothing slot as well as, like, a standard slot. That's interesting. Okay, talismanic beads or wooden beads. Okay, pants. Well, we have fighter, but we're going with this. Oh. I just realized... I I had more to offer. Between all of the stuff that I'm, I'm going around with... Uh... Oh, I look great. All right, let's sell all this stuff. So I'm pretty much going around in my skivvies. <laughs> oh boy! Hi. <laughs> um. Hello, ladies. I'm uh, I'm ready for my interview. If you know what I mean. Jesus Christ! I actually kind of look like I belong in a um drag show. How could I find you? Sort of. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's re let's rest at the end. Let's get my health back up to full. Okay, let's stay till nightfall. Uh, specifically because there's an item that I need to get. And it's easier to get at nighttime anyway. Okay, let's get out of here. I haven't actually been to the second floor of the inn yet. Ooh, let's loot it for all it's worth. Fish! Perfect. It's all mine. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, unless there's more to loot in here. There's a rock. Glorious. Alright, looks like we're done. Let's get out of here. I've spent way too much time just screwing around. And that's okay. from some unknown place just appear without a warning they are a strange lot not human quite they look the part sure enough but they lack the will the spark what drives us 
They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as sellswords. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. There's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn out of why he came to you in the first place. All right, so now we have Rook, the the tutorial man. He specifically exists to tell me like how shit works, which is kind of neat. But moldy apple, moldy berry, great. Effectively, we just grabbed cow shit for crafting purposes, I guess. You can combine items together and make stuff. I'll have to look up a guide on like what I can make at some point along the way. Currently now, let's finish robbing this place blind. We're almost done. Uh, I guess that's it. Well, that was lackluster. I guess let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything left. Well, it's gone dry. No signs of it being used as of late. There's probably a quest in relation to it. Eh, not a big deal to me. Okay, follow the roads and you will never lose your way. Honestly, this doesn't seem like the kind of game where you'll really get lost in. To the encampment. This path should see us there. That is dark. Game is an autosave function, that's fine. So why don't we do lantern? I've got a bunch of flasks of oil and I could probably get more. Okay, so let's light this up. And wander around for a while. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be breaking. Constantly. Oh, large nut. Yeah. Okay. But mainly, the thing we're looking for is actually a flower down here. Before we go too far. I said there's a flower near shore. Okay. Don't overdo it. I forgot. Uh, so, in town, I was uh, able to sprint as much as I want. Out in the field? Can't do so. It's actually really dangerous to do so, because if you get in combat, and you're low on, hello, you're low on stamina, then, uh, you're pretty much gonna have to recover your stamina mid-combat, which sucks. Okay, Goblin the Helm is the chief. Gotcha. Luckily, they all seem to be going for Rook, which is kind of nice, because it means I don't have to deal with it. Ow. Okay, I have to deal with it a little. Luckily, Rook has healing spells. Which is handy. Because that will keep me up. As long as I don't take too much hit. Okay. As long as I don't take too many hits. And he is apparently enchanted by weapon. Beautiful. Oh, shit. He's already dead. Oh, there we go. There we go. Quest successful. What quest? Hell if I know. Nice thing is he'll actually go around looting things for me. So if there's anything I've missed, he'll handle. I don't know how precise it is, necessarily. But my assumption is it's fairly decent. Okay, we got a treasure chest down here. Maybe? There we go. Conqueror's Purept. We also got a box up here. Hopefully it's got, like, another flask for me. Many of those is possible. Really? Yep, flasks of oil. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, nothing in the flaming garbage. No more items around here. Unless one of these drops something. There's rocks. Oh, actually, there's a fair amount of stuff that's just littering the ground. S sounds like we got more goblins run rolling around, too. Yep. That's fair. I wonder if more goblins spawn at nighttime. And. Oh, interesting. Was he, like, starting to drown? Because, like, he had a... He suddenly had, like, a random status effect. Which is interesting. I did not expect. Okay. Well, whatever. Probably get a new shield at some point. This thing is not great looking. Also would like to buy more moves. Get them later in the next town. Which I'd like to go back for, but I think I need to kill a fair amount of things before I get, uh... Truly get access to that. I don't know what that... I don't know what that status effect means. Eh. 
Okay, quest successful. And more money for me. Receive the effects of curative magic, stay in the AoE, got that. Where's this? I, I'm specifically looking for a flower around here somewhere. It's supposed to be near the shore, but for the life of me, I have not seen it yet. Oh, is there like a airtight flask? That's cool. No, this just brings me back to Seabreeze Trail. Okay. Here are a lot more goblins around too. Oh, right. Yeah, there's a merchant up above that's being harassed by them. We'll deal with that in a second. I believe as long as I'm not nearby, he doesn't die. Could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. Okay. Yeah, where, where the heck is the... Oh, small coin pouch. Where the heck is this flower? Oh, is that it? That's probably it. Yeah, because this flower only is around... Yep, moon glow. Only around at night times. So we need to gather a couple of those. Maybe just one for the healer lady that we talked to originally in town. A lot of kindling. I have to figure out what kindling is used for. Maybe nothing. Maybe multiple things. Hard to say. But there's plenty of it. Just don't know if it's necessary. Okay. Lots of boxes. I was actually really hoping that would bust them all up. Turns out, is false. Does not work that way. Anything up here? No, this probably just brings me back. Well, let's hope one moon glows enough. I can always rest until uh, nighttime again. This road will have us to the encampment here much longer. If I if I need to, because uh, daytime the daytime flowers grow actually all over the place, which is kind of handy. Oh shit, wolves! We have wolves and goblins. I don't actually see any other wolves. See plenty of goblins, though. Interesting. It's actually easier for me to jump away from that one guy than uh, than to actually move. Because it broke the animation better. Weird. Hey, vocation rank increased. Useful. Is he, like, is he fighting something around here? I actually have no idea. But yeah, you can level up your jobs. And you're not, like, you're not limited to one class at a time. So if you want to be, like, uh, if you want to switch classes to be a ranger, you totally can. Uh, which I actually really, really like. From a, uh, oh yeah, there's the wolves now. Ow. Uh, okay. I think he's gone. Could be, whoop, hello. Could be wrong, I think. Okay, I think we're good now. We've got some more stuff to grab. Oh, the corpses do actually despawn after a while. I was wondering about that one. Oh, let's finish getting healed up. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. I, I like how healing is handled in this game, where it will, like, leave AoEs on the ground. And you have to, um... You have to stand in them. It kind of forces you to, uh... Kind of pick and choose your, uh... When you actually get healed, and when it's, you know, not worth it for you. I think that was a actually kind of a neat decision along the way, even if it is frustrating in a pinch, because you're also granted healing items and whatnot, so it seems fair. Alright, like I said, there's a merchant that we have to go save. Press X or Y to attack. <laughs> oh, it's telling me how to fight. Which feels a little silly, considering. Okay. Let's get around the outside of these guys. There is it just me or are there? Are, I think there's a lot more goblins at night, even during this encounter. Oh shit! There. Let's see. Foes seem too much to handle. Nope, not a big deal. Yeah, there's more goblins at night, even for, like, this encounter. Because the last time I did this, there was, like, four, and this time there were six, and some of them were goblin leaders. Oh, shit. That one's still alive. Well, level up. Ah, which maxes out my level again. Cool. Oh, that was far too close. I'm called Reynard, a traveling salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. I'll consider it a bargain. 
Hey, I have a leather cape now, so I can put that on, so I look slightly less naked. Oops. Okay, so now I got a cape on top of everything else. Okay, you seem you may seem peddlers. Now can I converse with him? No, he's running away, he's gone. Yeah, you can find peddlers out in the wild and they will give you stuff occasionally. Uh they will also sell rare items that you can't normally find. Uh, like an uh, in shops and stuff, which actually is kind of a neat system as well. Okay, well, let's just head for the the encampment. And seriously, cross our fingers that this recording did not fail over the course of tonight. I would be so sad. Don't worry, I am here. Okay. Yeah, don't see any more goblins. I was kind of hoping more of them would spawn, just because I like being a higher level than usual. You know. Being ahead of the curve. Being able to deal with these things. Okay, let's grab this before he explodes everything and kills us all. Don't know if I was actually in danger there. I'd like to pre Hello. I'd like to pretend I wasn't, but honestly, I have no idea if getting exploded would kill me or not in this situation. Small nut. Kindling. What about the sack looking thing? No? Alright. Anything else around here? Green varnish. Nope, that's it. Really hoping for more cashola. Well, we'll probably get plenty. I mean, I already have like 10,000. I wonder if there's a store in here. Couldn't find the find one the first time I went through. But that doesn't mean that there isn't one. Because I would like to actually buy maybe a little bit more reasonable... Well, there's the coin patch. A little bit more reasonable clothing. Oh, because I do not, I do not look, uh, I do not look like the, uh, most productive member of society. <laughs> Why is it that about RPGs, like, you start the game and your just armor looks weird and junky and stupid? I don't know. Alright, search the area. Head down this direction. The beast comes! Hurry! Yeah, this is a lot easier now that I know what I'm doing uh, in this. Of course, we're just about to butt up against the extent of what I know uh, what and how to do. But, uh, you know what? That's okay too. Oh, right. Well, whatever. Here's a question. Doesn't look like I can leave. Okay. I just realized there's a quest to kill, uh... Kill Cyclopses. Uh, and I could have also bought new attacks, which probably would have made this a hell of a lot easier. Shame. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna try and take out all the goblins first before I get smacked around too much. Damn, this guy turns and I don't like it. Okay. Help me. 
Rook is down. Oh, he's he's back. Okay. Rook is currently healing me, but he's going to get smacked, I think. Which kind of sucks. Okay, hold on. Somebody said something about a ballista. There's a ballista around here. I said ballista. Oh, there we go. There's the healing. Yeah, I didn't want to go into combat. Low health. Because this guy super sucks. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the ballista in any way, shape, or form. Unless it's, like, hiding over here in this corner. Nope. Looks like we're out of luck on that one. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't want to grab hold of the leg. I guess this might actually be a good idea. Well, one way or another, it's fallen down. Okay, this actually... This actually seems a little bit more possible. Okay. I'm gonna grab onto the head, and we're gonna... I'm just gonna sit here wailing on it for the extent of stamina that I have. Though, honestly, I think this is gonna be pretty easy. Got it! Oh, hey, Dawn's coming, too. Which is exactly what I need. There's this creepy old dude that keeps summoning things at me. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, misshapen eye. Let's grab all this nonsense. Anything else around here that I missed? Because I noticed there was like a coin purse and some other things. No, nope, don't care. So either I already got them or they've already disappeared, which... It's kind of a shame. I like the extra money, but... Eh. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go back into town, let's go grab those quests, and let's buy some moves. Oh, right! And this- this'll let me, uh, this'll let me hire my- my, uh, first companion. My first permanent companion. Rook, I think, is semi-permanent, but, uh, here we go. Yeah, so this guy's an innkeeper. I swear there was a, uh... I swear there was a, a side quest board around here somewhere. I don't remember where it is. I do know there's some stuff back here. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's not lootable this time around. So there's some amount of random generation that goes into all of this. That's cool. Alright, well, let's just head back in. Yeah, there's, there's totally... A, uh, a side quest board somewhere in this town. It's probably near the front entrance. Maybe. Over on the... There it is. Yeah, kind of out of the way. But in doing this, we can get Ruffled Feathers, which is... Slay two seabirds. Seven phantasms. Forty-five undead warriors. Eight spiders. And three Cyclopses. If I picked that up earlier... If I picked that up earlier, we would actually be one-third of the way done. Obviously, not a big deal. I'm sure there will be more Cyclopses later on. But, it's a good thing to pick up side quests as fast as possible. Now let's turn this one back in. Alright, so now we get to do pawn customization. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna name... We're gonna name this pawn... Uh, Koof. And we're going to... Give him the, uh, the moniker. Um, hmm. You know, I don't know. What's a good Capcom character? That everybody remembers. Let's try K. What K names are there? Kabuki. Chiron, Kaiser, Kale, Kauro, Carl. Ah, <laughs> funny. Uh, 
Kelly. We could probably get Keith? Nope, can't. Keith is not in here. Kitty, Klaus, Kyo Kyo Kyose. Alright. Well, fine. If I'm Dr. Wily, we might as well go with the, the, uh, the obvious choice. Okay, so this is gonna be Mega Man. Alright, so let's do continue. Build. Now, I'm not an expert on, uh, on my friends, but... It sounds something like this. Make more, more edits. Alright, uh, hair, hairstyle. Alright, so... For people that don't know, Sebastian SB is a good friend of mine. We do a lot of YouTube, YouTube-y things together, and he's a nice guy. We've been friends for quite some time. If I remember right, he's got hair like this? No. You know what? I know what he has hair like. Uh, he's got hair kind of like this. There we go. Uh, face shape? Eh, that seems kind of reasonable enough. Eyes. Okay, let's see. He's... Yeah. He's surprisingly enough missing an eye as well. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, let's... So we got eyebrows. Eyebrows are down. Brow color, that's fine. Uh, let's see, nose. Eh. Nose seems appropriate. Mouth. Uh, let's see. Man, there are like zero angered mouths. I guess we'll go with that one. There we go. And ears. This feel a little small to me. Let's go with that one. Okay. Edit body. Preset bodies. Don't care. Stature. Alright, so he's tall. And boy, is he heavy. Yeah. Okay, skin color. Yeah, he's... I mean, he's... He's the pasty white kind of dude, I think. Okay, musculature. Bulky. Torso. Uh, let's see. That should be good. Arms. Arms are not at maximum. There we go. Legs are probably also at maximum. Great. And stance. Now, Koof is... Koof is kind of a quiet dude, so he... He keeps to himself, despite his, you know, mammoth size. Okay, so we need a scar specifically. There we go. Perfect. Wait, no, that's the wrong eye. God damn it. Uh, there we go. You'd think I'd remember these things. There we go. Wrinkles. Now, he's not an old dude. I mean, he's only like 20, 26-ish. Facial hair. What does he have? No. He, uh, it's been a while since I've seen him, so it's kind of hard for me to remember. But I want to say his mustache... Kind of looks like something like it's like this or this, maybe this. I don't remember. It's been so long. We did like face cami stuff a little while back. Hey, I think it was something like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, makeup. Now, if I remember right, he's he's kind of a dangerous dude. Oh right, we gotta we gotta switch the makeup around so it's the right kind of thing. Yeah, Koof is not a guy to be messed with, not at all. Yeah, there we go. Does it despite his like limited and imposing nature? He, yeah, let's actually go with that. A little bit more mystic, even if it's, like, really low quality. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I think this is good. Confirm. Let's see, asked a few questions. Okay, uh, careful preparation. Rescue comrades from danger. I'm going for medicant, just so I have more he healing than anything else. Okay, let's make him a mage. Even though I think technically he personally go, would go more for a ranger style, I'm going to make him a mage just so I have a dedicated healer. At all times. But yes, the reason why I made him like this is because he will summon himself. Because he was asking if he could, uh, if he could have, uh... Your fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men called pawns live and die by your command. <laughs> it looks so goofy. I really do. Okay, yeah, uh, so you can share pawns with other players, so... Uh, let's see, recognizes Arisen, you get a pawn, you can also get more pawns. 
Mining level and available skills. Pawns knowledge is important. Okay, that's fine. So let's examine this. We can summon one more pawn. Technically, I could get rid of uh, one of mine. So there's that. Okay, now can I do this? Touching the stone. Okay. I believe will let me search. Friends list. Can I not search my friends list? Why can't I search my friends list? I'm confused. All right, let's grab EVs. Is that it? Are we good? I guess let's get Pearl instead. Maybe not. You're terrifying looking. Okay. What about Bikini Babe here? All right, let's hire Bikini Babe. I'm really curious why can't why I can't um summon my friends' companions. A friends list. Find the pawns of friends that have played this game. Weird. Wonder why. Well, I guess I get Rook, I get Aster, and I should have my own. So let's get out of here. Okay, exit the rift. I'll come back and see how I can get. I can do the friends list summoning later. But yeah, now we have we have Koof, we have Aster, and we have Rook. And then at some point I will replace Aster and probably Rook with uh, people uh, with. With, um, with pawns that, like, people have given me. So, if you guys are a fan and you want me to feature your pawn at least somewhere along the way here, and I actually have enough RC to do so, I will. A master and his pawns. You'll be quite the force on the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Okay, so now we get to learn how to do this. I'm probably gonna skip past bits of this. Oh, and it's the creepy dude. Uh, just cause listening to this guy prattle, prattle on is really annoying. It's just teaching you about basic mechanics. Alright. So this is just... This is just go toss things. With, like, zero time limit, from what I can tell. I, I really am going to kind of skip past dialogue that seems really unnecessary. Like, if it's plot-based, is fine, but tutorial bits? Ugh. I hate tutorials. They're always really slow. This is... this specifically. Alright. So, what we have to do is just move cargo. And you can... This is so much easier, actually, if you have a full team. Oh, well. I guess... She'll get that one. Or what? There we go. Yep. <laughs> oh god, I forgot to gave Keith one of those. Oh boy. I might regret that. I might not. Okay, I gave Koof a really dumb voice. And boy. Okay, yeah, so uh, Koof is, for people that don't know, Koof is a nickname that I've given to Sebastian SB. Uh, as well. Okay, do I see any more targets around here? I guess we've got one at the top of every one of these. Wow, that is going to get really frustrating real fast. Oh man, I wonder if I can customize him after this point. Okay, the orangish ones can be destroyed by my own attacks. Oh, did it? Yep, that already went. It looks like this is a, a melee target as well. Climbing ladders is hard. God damn. Apparently they used to be way more talkative than they currently are, which is flabbergasting. Okay, that it? We done? Nope. There we go. 
Oh boy, choosing that voice is such a was such a mistake. Oh, the other way. <laughs> Why did I do that? Son of a bitch. Alright. Options, controls, audio, voice. I could turn off voice entirely. We could go with like purely who gives about who gives a damn about listening to these things. Hopefully he'll just shut up after a while. He is not shutting up about anything. Yeah, don't, I don't, maybe there's like a, a command or a mod. Yeah, still can't do by friends list. Weird. All right. Well, I guess we're stuck with uh, Koof, the most annoying uh, companion ever. Glorious. Well, great.